Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm having a very relaxed day today. I just have my hair up in a little messy bun. And I felt like doing an updated what's in my makeup bag video. Because I just, I loved doing it last time. So, I'll get started. This is the makeup bag that I use. It's the Benefit Rare Beauty makeup bag. And I took all of my products that I keep in it out of it just so I can stay organized and show you guys everything. But this is how big the bag is. It is huge for makeup. So I fit a ton of products in this. I feel like I keep products with me that I don't necessarily use on a daily basis. But these are the products that I love the most and most of them I do use on a daily basis. So I'll get the most boring part out of the way, the makeup brushes. So, the first makeup brush that I keep in here is just a big fluffy powder brush from Walmart. It's not very dense, but I find it's great for applying bronzer, so I love this brush and I use it every single day now. The next brush is just also a brush from Walmart and it's just a little blush brush. I use it every single day. Love this brush. The next brush that I have in here is just an eyeshadow brush from Icings and it's just very generic. It's very dense, so it's perfect for applying cream eyeshadow, regular eyeshadow, and it was only like $7, I think, so I really like this. And it also has a little sponge applicator side. So the last brush that I keep in my bag is the EcoTools Retractable Kabuki Brush, and I love to use this for applying foundation. So it has a little cap, and then it just comes down like that, and it's super dense. I really love this brush and I think it's so handy that it comes with this little thing and a cap just so you can throw it in your purse whenever you want to and when I apply my foundation with this I just pull it down a little ways and just really work it into my skin because that really keeps everything like extremely dense so I love this I also this think brush. that this does a really great job with just regular powders I will use this also for putting translucent powder all over my skin if I ever need to. So I love this brush so much and I think it's really cute. To me it kind of looks like a giant lipstick tube. So next I'm moving on to face products that I keep in my bag and the first is a foundation. It's the Lancome Tontidol Ultra 24 Wear and I'm in the shade um, Ivory 100 Neutral which is the lightest shade that it comes in and I love this foundation. I've heard that it's very comparable to the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua, but I've never tried it, so I can't really say what I think of that. But I do love this. I have to always apply moisturizer on my face because if I don't apply moisturizer, it like oxidizes really weird on my skin and it makes my face turn bright orange, which is not attractive at all, in my opinion. So I always need to apply a ton of moisturizer but I do love this especially for summer. So the next product that I have is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and this is just what I use for bronzer and I'll swatch it for you. It's on that finger and it's so nice. It looks very natural on your skin and I don't know how I lived without bronzer before I tried this. I absolutely love it. So then the next face product that I have is just a MAC blush and it's in the shade Margin. I really love this blush. I'll swatch it for you. It's right there. It's very peachy, pinky, and it does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not very noticeable and it looks so elegant. I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I do think that it also makes a good contour color for people who have more fair skin. I really love this blush. At first I didn't like it, but now I do, so. Then the last face product that I keep in here is a primer, and it is the Benefit Porefessional Primer, and it's great for big pores. I don't have very large pores, but I just put it on my nose, and um, sometimes up here wherever I get larger pores, or if it's a really hot day, I like to apply this. And I love this. It's kind of a shame that it's so expensive though because I don't know if I will be repurchasing it or looking for a more cheaper alternative. So if any of you guys know any good primers out there, 
please let me know. So next we're moving on to eye products that I keep in here and the first thing that I keep is the Benefit Bad Gal Lash Mascara. I hated this when I first tried it but I realized I was just applying it wrong. I really needed to just wiggle out the roots and then brush through my lashes after and I love this. It gives volume and it gives really great length. I have very short sparse lashes and this makes a huge difference on my so, lashes. This is what the brush looks like and I just love it. It doesn't even clump on my lashes unless I decide to apply like five coats or something which I never do. The most I ever do is like three coats. Next eye products that I have are eyeliners and the first is a liquid eyeliner by All May and it is I'm not sure what it's called, but it's just a really nice brown color, and I have had this for so long. Here's a little, there's a swatch for you. Um, it's just a really nice deep brown color that looks great for blue eyes. I really love that. I have repurchased this like three times. I love it so much. And then the next eyeliner that I have is also a brown one. It is by Maybelline and it's called the Master Drama Eyeliner in Bold Brown. And so this is just what it looks like. And I will swatch it. And the swatch is right there. So it's a bit darker than so the, the next eye product one. that I have is a MAC Paint Pot and it's in the shade Bear Study. And I love this color. It's so gorgeous and it looks very metallic-y, but it's not too metallic-y. It just looks that way on the camera. But I'm just going to swatch a little bit for you because it is so pretty. It's got little gold shimmers in it. You might not be able to see it on the camera, but it's so pretty. So now I'm just moving on to products that I keep in here for my eyebrows. And the first is just this little just eyebrow to brush, brush my eyebrows before I fill them in. And then what I use to fill them in is the Revlon brow fantasy pencil in the shade dark blonde and it comes with a nice pencil side and then it comes with a little brow gel and it looks just like a regular mascara wand but I love this product before I was using eyeshadow but this looks very natural I was so surprised how much I love this product I don't like the packaging however because for some reason the top for this side just always comes off from my purse and it's kind of annoying but the product itself inside of the packaging is really great okay so next we're moving on to lip products and the first lip product that I keep in my bag is a MAC lip gloss I'm not sure what kind of gloss I know they have lip glasses and other things like that but I'm not sure which one this is but I know that it's in the shade confetti and it is so pretty. I don't even know how to describe it. It's the first lip gloss that I ever purchased from MAC. And I'm just going to swatch it for you. And it also plumps up your lips, but it doesn't hurt. So I really like this lip gloss. And I used to wear this on a daily basis. I don't so much anymore. The one I'm wearing more often is the Lancome Juicy Tube Lip Gloss in the shade raspberry ice and this is so pretty it's pink with gold shimmer in it it's not really noticeable at all when you put it on your lips it's not like whoa you're wearing sparkles on your lips or anything I really love this and it smells so good the last lip product that I keep in my bag is actually from icings or Claire's I think it's from icings and it's just a lip gloss in a little tube like this and it is so pretty deep pink Color, and I'm wearing it on my lips today and it is really pretty it doesn't show up on camera very well um, I need to find good lighting but I love this so much and I'll go like a month without wearing it and then find it again and be like oh my gosh I forgot how much I love this so I, do I also love keep this the benefit high beam in my bag for when I want to highlight my face I don't I haven't been using this too much lately because it's summer and my face like already looks like it's highlighted. If I like go like this you can see it's like shiny. But I didn't I didn't put any highlights on my face today, so 
It might just be because it's kind of warm outside. I don't know. It could just be my foundation. I keep the Lancome Benefit sunscreen thing. I love this stuff. I'm going to be so sad when I run out of it because it's very expensive and I'm not sure if I'm going to buy the full size or if I'm going to try to find a drugstore alternative. So that's everything in my makeup bag. I hope you guys liked this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye!